Right, I don't know if I was recording all that. Basically, I've just met a young couple. I've put, put them on the direction. They're hoping to go up part of the gorge. They didn't actually say what part of the gorge. Did they say, did they say Cheddar? Or did they mean Barrington Coombe? Because they're completely different. Oh, well, just let them, let them carry it on. I don't really know. What nice people, aren't they? They look really nice people. Um, very well mannered and they had a nice smile and um, friendly, genuinely friendly. Didn't feel like they were um, going to cut your throat any minute or, or rob you or anything. And they were out on a lovely hike. The bloke was carrying all the stuff in the rucksack. No, I've got a feeling she had one as well. But I give them some directions. Um, but it is a big hike, you know. I mean, the thing is, if they've got a bike, if they've got a car, and it's parked in Cheddar, I don't know where they've come from. But, um, well, I hope that when they were talking about the gorge, they didn't mean Burrington Coombe. Anyway, this is an ancient pathway I'm on here. Don't ask me what it's called. It's probably got a name. But it's um, the track you have to follow to take you towards the fort. And we'll come across a nature reserve in a minute. Now when you get up on the fort, it's very exposed. There is actually no shade on top of the fort. Um, it really is... Um, it, it, by three o'clock in the afternoon when I get up there, it will be baking. Not just a bit hot. It'll be baking hot. Right then. So I'm following this down. I can't remember how far it goes. Um, I'm just making the most of the weather because um, they keep saying it's going to rain. I won't come out, of course. I don't tend to come out if there's any hint of thunder and lightning um, you know I, I really try to keep away from all that sort of thing um, but I do need to get out I mean the thing is I feel so much better when I'm out um, the oxygen from all these trees and plants pure oxygen I mean like you just breathe it in uh, and um, you just feel so much better it's worth putting up, up with the odd horse fly, you know, um, whatever. And um, you can feel the change as soon as you get back into a valley. Not a valley with trees in it. I'm talking about a valley like Western Supermare, um, which goes really all the way over to Cheddar Valley and Glastonbury, the Vale of Avalon. I mean, basically, you can see when you're up the top, you can sometimes see like a smog hugging the valleys. Um, and I often feel like I'm being suffocated in my flat um, for a number of reasons. Um, you've got, it's not a motorway outside, but you have got constant vehicles not like the main town, but you have got people going home, driving that way, and there's a car park at Grove Park where everyone parks to go shopping and go to the theatres and everything, so they have to drive past, they have to drive past my house, and I just feel there's a build-up of pollution, and I don't really clear it until I come up here. Now, in a minute, we're going to come across a situation where we have to decide where to go. Right. That's a track that leads up there. Now, I never, I always, I can tend to forget. Uh, now, we don't go up there. I don't reckon we go up there, do we? Is it up there? 
I do tend to forget sometimes. Um, I do tend to forget when I get to this point because I haven't done it for a while. So I don't want to. I'm just going to. What I'm going to have to do in a minute is just go up this track just a little bit till I get to a clearing. Because I don't want to be going down the wrong way when I'm supposed to be going into a field. Um, I think I've still got to carry on down that track down there, but I just want to get up here for a little bit. Just to see if it is the field up here. Because I've got a feeling if I go down there and follow that, that takes me down the base of the fort. Whereas if I come up here, I've got a feeling this is where I should come out into a field. I had to really use my memory then. Yes, that's it. Now if I'd gone down there, it would have been all right. But I would have been going down the base of the fort, which we don't want. Ah, Dolbury Warren, that's it. This is what we want. We're not far from the fort now. Here we are. What's that? Is that a little gate? Yeah, I think that's a little gate for the animals to get in. Dolbury Warren. Yeah, it's a good job I remembered, wasn't it? I always knew there was going to be a situation where I had to decide which way to go. Let me just put that on there a minute. There's a window up here, isn't it? It's a complicated style. Right, this is Sheila. We've arrived, arrived at Dolbury Warren Nature Reserve on the way to the Iron Age Fort of Rowbury. And we will be going, where well you can go either way, There's, you can go straight up where those people have come out, or you can go straight up there, which is where I'm going. I'm going straight up there. Dolbury Warren Nature Reserve. A magnificent place for a walk at any time of the year with views across the Mendips and towards Wells on a clear day. A special site. The hill is formed from carboniferous limestone and contains areas of wildflowers, grassland and one of the two most extensive areas of limestone heath in the southwest. Yeah, so there we go then. An Iron Age fort was built here 500 BC and the ramparts can still clearly be seen. At the highest point you can understand why our ancestors chose this site for their fort with views across North Somerset and the Severn Estuary. Dolbury Warren is also a scheduled monument because of its long history. So there's the Iron Age fort there. Dolbury Warren and basically we're here I'm going to go up that way. No, no. I'm going here and up. That's the lower path, I think, that one. Right then, everyone. People emerging from the woods. Okay, over and out for a minute. I'll take some photos.